Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to a new Food for Rhino webinar. Um, we have today with us uh, Mustafa Dulger and Erdem, Erdem Somunku, and they are going to talk about a new suite of plugins uh, for nautical design. They will talk about Nautilus Stiller, Nautilus Piping, and Nautilus Drafting, and Nautilus Clipper. Um, Mustafa is the owner of uh, Rhino Center. This is one of our Turkish resellers. And Kuluka, this is a recently created company uh, that will distribute this suite of, of plugins by Nautilus Design. And Mustafa is a naval architect and marine engineer. And Erdem is the owner of Nautilus Design Company. He's also a naval architect and marine engineer, and he has been developing uh, these plugins that he also uses in his company for naval architecture, engineering, and design services for super yachts and mega yachts. Uh, remember that this webinar is being recorded, so it will be available on this same YouTube link right after it finishes, and that there is a chat on the right part of your screen. Feel free to place your questions there, and then at the end of the webinar, I will pick your, your questions, and uh, Mustafa and Erdem will be able to answer this. So again, many thanks for being here. Thanks, Mustafa, Erdem. If you wish, you can you can start now with your presentation. Uh, thank you, Carlos, for inviting us, and hello for um, all and uh, welcome, of course. Uh, I think uh, we are, at the end we are going to have a, a, a questions and an answers. So uh, who watches the live webinar, uh, we will answer their questions, but who watches after like the recording? Uh, and if they have any questions, they can always send us uh, email, either add them to, or either to me, so we can reply their questions uh, after they watch the recording. Uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, as Carlos said, I'm uh, based in Istanbul, Turkey. So we are, uh, I'm a naval architect and marine engineer. Uh, and owner of uh, the Rhino Center in Turkey. We are uh, actually a Rhino reseller for the last six years and also an authorized Rhino training center. Uh, what we are doing actually, we are trying to, with Rhino, what we are doing, we are trying to spread the knowledge uh, about Rhino, Grasshopper and many more plugins, uh, not locally, but try to do it globally. Uh, so, uh, if you didn't see us yet, you can just go and check uh, on social media, just simply type Rhino Center and you will see us on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Uh, also, uh, I would love to just point out a small uh, development that we are working on, uh, show you through our webpage. So, uh, we are also developing a, a Rhino 3D model library that will work with NURBS. Uh, there will be a bunch of models. I think around 3000 models are on the way and uploading right now. So if you are uh, eager to learn more about this 3D model library, uh, it will be on our website. Since the this webinar is not related with that one, so I will leave it here. Uh, and I will, uh, before letting, uh, them to take over. I'd love to show you how you can uh, find Nautilus plugins. So this is our website, basically. Uh, you just, if you want to download the evaluation versions of the software plugins, you can uh, just register. And after you log in, you can download the evaluation versions. There will be a one month evaluation version of drafting, stealer and piping, and a three months of evaluation version of clipper. So uh, after uh, you download and after one month, you decided to buy it, uh, starting from today with Food for Rhino webinars, uh, we actually, let me show you by products. We are listing our products with the promotional prices uh, starting by today. So for Clipper, it will be uh, until at the end of August, uh, the prices are here you can always visit our website and see the promotional prices as well. Uh, I think for me that's that's okay. That's all for now. In the meantime, if you have any questions, then I can uh, I will be happy to reply all of them, uh, and I will let uh, Erdem to take over. Thank you. 
Carlos, if you want, I can go home. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. I think uh, Mustafa needs to stop sharing his screen. Uh -huh. And then you can start sharing yours. OK. Uh, let me uh, first uh, introduce myself and my company. Uh, I am like Mustafa, a naval architect and marine engineer. And after working many years in shipyards, I established my company and I'm giving naval architecture, marine engineer and uh, naval architecture services for shipyards and clients. Uh, we are mostly uh, using Rhino in uh, our modeling and workshop drawings. Uh, with that, that uh, time period, we had a chance to improve our ways to use Rhino and we developed some uh, real nice tools for efficient and accurate design. Uh, we shape them according to the way we work and as cost our customers' demands. Uh, and at the end, we took that decision to, uh, as, to improve, to share them with the world and to improve them. And at the end, to get a powerful software for everyone in the uh, marine industry. Uh, I will just make a short presentation of softwares and I will do later on uh, a live demonstration. Uh, first, our first uh, plugin is Nautilus uh, Clipper. Uh, normally, we are working in big files and we have structure and outfitting in our files. So it's, uh, to focus on the place where we work, uh, we need clipping planes. So we developed this plugin to easily use the clipping place and uh, focus on the area where you work. And uh, this allows you uh, to see the scenes uh, as your projects and to monitor them. And uh, later on, you can restore and use them. And also there are very useful comments. Uh, so the clipping planes can be adjusted to a point or to an object. It's a nice pl uh, plugin with a user-friendly uh, user -friendly interface. Uh, our second plugin is Nautilus Drafting. Uh, modeling in Rhino is really very simple. In uh, minutes, you can model something you want. Uh, but when it comes to workshop drawing, construction drawings of that model, it really takes time. So we developed this uh, uh, plugin for uh, fast, fastest and most accurate way of uh, preparing workshop drawings. Uh, this plugin works with Nautilus Clipper. You need to have Nautilus Clipper to use this uh, plugin. With this plugin, you save the scenes uh, according to your view you, uh, and you monitor them. After saving them, you can get the 2D drawings of them automatically and the layout is automatically created. Uh, and one also important uh, property uh, uh, for this pl plugin is that it, it can dimension, it can auto dimension all the points of uh, pipings generated with Nautilus piping and the labels are automatically done and all the dimensions are uh, written on the uh, file. And our third plugin is Nautilus piping, as its name is a tool for creating pipes. It uses its database, pipe database, to create really, uh, it has an extensive library and you can create the pipes in minutes. Um, and modifying, it, uh, modifying the pipes is really very easy. You can drag by gumball or you can drag and you, the pipe is modified uh, with its all fittings on, on it. And uh, it has an extensive library. You can put all the wipes and uh, all the blocks easily. Uh, also, there are many useful uh, comments such as join pipe, split pipe, and uh, match pipe that enables you to fast uh, model the piping. Also, it's, uh, it can uh, put the penetrations on structures according to the uh, pipe in a most suitable way. And our last plugin is Nautilus Stiller. Uh, it's a plugin that enables you to fastly model the structure of uh, a ship, a boat, and also track it with its database. It's a database uh, program. And with this program, you can uh, track the materials live and 
generate the frames with e easily with frame generators. There are certain types of frames, uh, and you can generate the frames all over all over the boat in minutes. And uh, it marks all the touching places of the parts, and you can uh, prepare the cutting skeins accordingly. Uh, and also one other important uh, property about this plugin is the stiffener generation. Stiffener generation is uh, parametric. So when you change the type of stiffeners, all the cutouts automatically change. Uh, and uh, you can track, as I said, uh, the materials and the uh, list of stiffeners easily. And there are, again, many other uh, comments for fast modeling. Uh, if you want, uh, these are the uh, some projects we have developed with our plugins. This is a 55 meter motor yard, and the piping is all done with this uh, piping model. And this is a structure of a 45 meter boat we have done it again with this. And there are uh, many other uh, projects we are uh, dealing with with these plugins. And uh, that's uh, the brief. Uh, summary of the uh, our plugins. If you want, we can go on with the uh, demonstration. Uh, uh, I'm then proceeding with demonstration live. Uh, <clears throat> let's start with Nautilus Clipper. Uh, here on the right side of the screen. When you right click on the tab, you see Nautilus Clipper here, and you can open this uh, user interface tab by then. And when you open the model, uh, you, need, you need to maximize boundaries to find the limits of your model. And then you can easily uh, play with uh, clipping planes uh, where you are working. And as I said, this adjusting clipping is really easy you can set point uh, to a place where you are working for example here and you are working here uh, you can save this uh, all it's a project oriented uh, plugin so let's make a project food for uh, rhino let's create this and I can save this scene as working area one. Working area one. I save this. Uh, my scene is now saved. And let's uh, also entering by value is uh, adjusting to the big plane, so it's possible. Uh, I want to get only this view, so I saved it as working area two and uh, i can easily switch the working areas we are working and it's really uh, a very helpful and very nice plugin also with settings uh, you can change these num uh, values for example if you are using in rhino uh, standard uh, right view front view and back and forward view so you can rename them according to your wish and this is the precision of this uh, plus minus buttons normally now it's moving uh, to 100 millimeters but you can make it to 2000 and slice value is the distance between two adjacent uh, clipping plane and this is uh, our clipping plane tool. If you want, we can switch on the next uh, plugin uh, for Nautilus drafting. Uh, this is a boat, and we have here. I will demonstrate piping uh, drafting of uh, this boat. We have the boat under inside this uh, boat. We have scupper system. So again, as I said, it's using a uh, Nautilus Clipper. I'm pressing maximize button, maximize boundaries uh, to find the limits of the uh, my 
<coughs> project, my model. And then again with Nautilus Clipper, I can click here to save this view. I need to get the view from here to see this file. So I save this uh, first, sorry, uh, maybe I need to tell about you the project. It's also a project based. Uh, you can create project from here and uh, you can uh, uh, enter these values, length, beam, draft values, and then the project is created. And then you select the active project and then uh, you save this uh, views. For, from here, uh, by clicking the save scene button, I select here the system. I can also, I will show you that how we enter these systems. Now, for this, this is a scupper system and uh, you can also select the view where we are looking from this pipes. Uh, in order not to take your time, I already saved uh, a few views like this. And with scene monitor, you can see all the views recorded according to the drawing system. This can be scupper system or blue boil, or it can be a structural drawing not only for piping, for every kind of workshop drawings it's useful. And here, these are the scenes I already uh, saved. So after getting the, uh, after saving this uh, views, then we get the 2D drawings of this uh, views. So I click on here and again, uh, form is popped up and here I see all the views I saved as I am selecting them all and uh, here we have a, a menu that shows that allows us to uh, enter the scales and the parameters. These parameters are coming from uh, the project. It's selected food for Rhino and these are parameters was, was set at, at the beginning. So uh, I save it and I accept this for the frame views. For the top view, I can use uh, a different scale because sometimes if top view is big, so you need maybe a less scale for that, but I will use the same scaling. And for side views, uh, looking port side and for uh, starboard side, I'm also saving and placing this. Then it starts to get the 2D drawings. It, it will take just a few more seconds to complete. You can get the 2D drawings with structure, but I, am, uh, I didn't take the structure in it because it takes a little bit more time. And now it's about to finish. All the views, all the sections are being created. And I think this is the last view. And after, yeah, this, all of them are finished. Now uh, we open a new file here. And on this file, uh, all the views are uh, saved in your local computer. Uh, you can define the cluster and here put for Rhino scupper system all the uh, 2D views are stored here. Now I open one of them and with auto dimension tool it automatically gives all the dimensions of the pipes. Then I save it and I can do it for all the views but I will just show you one more. For This is a side view and dimension, auto dimension. All the dimensions are done and 
the pipe is highlighted, the selected part, and the labeling is done. And it, I am saving this. And now I'm opening uh, another empty file to place these views. Here, this is insert sections, insert views command. Uh, when I press here, again, I can filter them by project, filter them by system. And these are the views that we all uh, prepared. Now, all of them is being inserted in the drawing. Here, we have done the dimensioning for them, uh, but didn't do this for not taking too much time of you. And, but you can, it's all created automatically. All the views are here. Also the orientation of, or for example, this, this CC view is the where we take the scene from and also the labels of starboard and port side is automatically created. It's very important sometimes. If it's inverted, it will be problematic. <laughs> so after doing this, we are pressing the button create, create layout. And here we select the paper size. We name our drawings, copper system, let's say workshop drawing and drawing number. Let's say this one. These are automatically came uh, you are setting your username and the, the date is automatically coming. Uh, and this is all created with the title block and the views. All, the, all you need to do is to place them in the paper. And your work, your drawing is completed. And here at drawing system, you can uh, for you, you can say that structure or whatever you are drawing. You are preparing workshop drawings, you are writing them, and it's saved to database. And all these are classified. When you want to revise this drawing, all you need to do is retake the 2D drawings. All uh, done. And uh, for this plugin, uh, my words is like this. And we can switch on the next plugin. Uh, we can go on with the uh, piping. Uh, Nautilus piping, as I said, it's a piping tool. Uh, here we have a sea chest and we have pumps and we have the equipment, so we will draw uh, the piping of this uh, route. Uh, let's start with here we have a draw pipe command. We, when we click it, we select here the system and the pipe size. And you can filter them. There are lots of many uh, pipes defined in here. Also, you can define. Uh, here, we want to use Cunifer pipe for seawater. We are mostly using it. And I select its uh, connection type is uh, pressed, pressed fit, and dimension is DM40. Then I start with here. Uh, I click on the center of uh, C chest and I move here. I turn. Uh, this is the beginning of pipe. And then from this side, I'm doing the same thing. I'm selecting Cunifer pipe. And like this. And with connect pipe, I can also join myself, but uh, with this connect pipe uh, count, I can easily, uh, it finds the shortest way to connect pipes and pipe is generated. For the second pipe, I can just copy this pipe to here and pipe is automatically generated. I need to do just some uh, modifications, that's all. It's very easy, as I said, with gumball, with tracking, with move, you can uh, do it. And with, let's add some plans on it, uh, here I select the pipe, it doesn't ask me the diameter because it's uh, done, but I can select the material and uh, connection types or some specific properties of uh, flange here. And uh, now it's on the other way. So when I click or when I press F, it uh, flips the direction of the flange. Again, from this side, here for this one, I'm looking and I'm putting and for this, 
again, I put the flaps. And to go to the other side, um, the another way, go, way of making pipe is just you draw line, like all the line, and I go here uh, to here, and uh, I'm just draw, drawing roughly, and I will just I will do uh, some adjustments. Now the, this is a curve. I make it here. We have the make pipe comma. It converts the uh, pipe to uh, curve to pipe uh, according to your selection. Now I selected it, and now I will do some uh, adjustment just uh, in three dimension. It's still sometimes hard to uh, snap the center. And it's done. And for other pipe, again, uh, I can use draw pipe command. Here, I go up roughly. And I will make a 45 degree. I will come here. I will go up and then, then it here. and my pipe is automatically created again. I'm just pulling this to my other unit. And this is created like this. I can again make adjustment, make them in the same plane. It will be better. Okay. Yes, this is now done. And also I can advise quickly with by pressing the advise button. Here first I select the pipe. Then uh, the selected pipe diameter is automatically recognized, and they call it, this is a press fit uh, pipe. So I'm selecting the press fit valve, uh, and I select the point, and I can rotate it wherever I want. And now it's connected to pipe, and when I move it, also the, all the fittings, all the uh, valves are moving with this. And also, as I said, it's possible to put penetrations. We are selecting the pipes and the structure. It automatically finds the most suitable uh, penetration in the database. Uh, it finds the most suitable. I mean, it, you, you uh, define some uh, standard penetrations according to your shipyard or your design. Uh, and it selects the most suitable one. And uh, let us talk about a bit the library. Uh, and here you can add penetration types to library. Uh, you can give, as I said, you can enter these values, height, thickness, and uh, width values, and you can define this your penetration library. And uh, also uh, you can. Uh, you can create your own library. You can select the pipes and thickness diameter and also connect a link to the library. So it, when you do this, you will see it uh, on here. Uh, and you can see the bay bill of materials instantly here. What we have used, how, many, uh, how much uh, pipe did we use, how many uh, elbows, how many wives we can see live. And this is for, uh, this is all about uh, my work for Nautilus piping. And we can switch to our last plugin, uh, Nautilus Stiller. And this is a sample file uh, that we will use for uh, Nautilus Stiller. 
here the red lines are uh, our stiffness. I will just uh, turn on turn off its layer. And here, uh, as the other projects, we have create project button. Here we can project, create a project with length beam draft. We can enter these values. And we select our active project from here. And uh, we can modify the project uh, with edit project button command. And here we have the define, bar, define part uh, uh, common. It automatically recognizes the part and it uh, saves it to its database. Now I'm uh, selecting all of them and starting to define the parts. This is uh, a shell. This is the shell of the boat, so I'm marking the shell and it, I want it to be on the other side, the direction, on the other direction. So uh, I'm moving with the second one. Since these are planar and everything is known, it calculates the thickness, it calculates automatically the direction. So I can say auto define for the known uh, parts. Uh, so it automatically finds the direction thicknesses of the pipes and it writes them to the uh, database. Now all the pipes are defined and we can uh, see the defined part by clicking the select defined part. So we are sure that no, no part is uh, remained. And uh, later on we can uh, insert our frames. Here we have certain types of frames and uh, I want to make this frame between this here. I won't do all of them, but I will show you a small demonstration. Uh, I'm selecting this type of frame. I want this A2 to be 100 and degree 45 degrees and these values. Uh, start position zero to, uh, I, I will insert uh, 12 frames and I want them to be with flat bar. So, uh, I'm clicking this button and it asks me where to put the frame. I'm selecting the girders and the top part. It automatically creates all of them and it writes them to database. And now flat bars are being added. It's all done. And let's do this side again this parameter a 100 b 150 and with this parameters uh, i am selecting girder and deck shell and uh, where to finish the frame here and all are <coughs> automatically defined again and added to database and for last, uh, for type four, again with these parameters, let's say all of them near 100 millimeters. Uh, I'm selecting the frames, uh, the board borders boundaries, and they are all again connected. These are all done. Now let's go uh, with the stiffeners. To add the stiffeners, we press this place stiffeners button and this menu pops up. Here we select uh, the curves. We want this as deck stiffeners and select it. They are attached to here. I don't want to define any end positions, and I want a 50 by 5 stickner here. I want it to be on the port side and inside. And all of them are now created. Now I am uh, adding cut. I will add cutouts and I will just make cutouts to here uh, again. And now stiffness I'm selecting.
it can take a bit time. So I just, I only uh, made this area. And now all the cutouts are done. And with edit part command, uh, I can change the shape of this uh, stiffener. I can make it a T-bar like this. And it's automatically changed and the related penetrations are uh, also replaced accordingly. And yes, it, they are all changed. And one other thing, one last thing about stiffeners, and uh, I can edit this one. And I wanted to make it finish here. So for end position, I can select this one. And when I enter, uh, it stops here. I can uh, make the end, on the, I can enter also the end conditions. And after that, after defining all the parts, we are passing to marking, set markers common. It takes a bit of time, so I will uh, go on with the other file, which are already uh, done, the marking. Here, uh, when you press that button, not this particular and this marking, so all the pipes, all the, oh, no, not the pipes, all the parts are uh, marked according to the directions of the uh, touching plates. All uh, these are here. So uh, our model is ready to take nest. So there is a get, get parts comment here. Uh, it makes the parts on, lie on the 2D so we can do the nestings. So when I press this one, I can filter them by block, by thickness, and select them uh, to get the nestings, or I can select all of them and I can make them, uh, I can click this button and it automatically uh, makes them, place them on the working construction plane for nesting. And here, there it's done. Uh, and also they are uh, classified according to the uh, thicknesses. This is six millimeters, this is eight millimeters. Then the last part is to creating the uh, um, sheets, cutting sketches. So let's say we have a plate of eight by two meters plate here. I place this and when I press the create sheet button, uh, it automatically uh, creates the cutting sketch uh, with the markings on it and with the cutting leg and the weight of parts, everything is written here. Uh, and one last, last thing about this is we can track the material list. This is the stiffeners, uh, how much stiffeners we, uh, we are using here. And with this, uh, we can get the weight info, the uh, center of gravity, the weights of parts is very critical for novel architecture site. So uh, the total weight of parts and longitudinal center of gravity, uh, vertical center, center of gravity is uh, written, calculated here. And uh, I think it's all done uh, with us on the site for the presentation of plugins. Uh, thanks for your time and interest. Thank you, Erdem. Thank you. That was an, an excellent presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it a lot. And uh, there are many questions, actually. I think people are amazed with your, with your plugins. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they, they didn't stop asking questions so i'm going to ask this to you okay 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 uh, I would, uh, well first my, my first one i see i see you are running now rhino 6 but i guess it that it works also with rhino 7 right yes it works with rhino 7 no problem we tested but i wanted to make the demonstration for rhino 6. perfect so in the beginning when you were showing some 2d drawings uh, james de villiers asked if these uh, were created with the Rhino make to the command? 
Yes, uh, in the presentation file, you say it's, it's all created with uh, Rhino drafting. Okay, and oh. with the Nautilus Clipper, can you also extract to the from the sections? No, it it can, it just, it's just for weaving. It's visual. Visual, yes. Okay, nice. Also, another question by James uh, De Villiers. Uh, is the title block customizable? Uh, for now, not, but it's, it's easy. We can do this. We can customize it. Uh, it's easy, I mean. It's, okay. It will be customizable. Then you have one, one, one new thing in, your, in the <laughs> wish yeah. list. We, we, will, we will not do that. <laughs> Perfect. What else? Uh, yeah. Uh, then Droz asks if the piping module uh, can produce isometric files. No. Uh, as I said, we <laughs> shape these plugins according to our customers' needs, and they, here they want it to be in uh, layout format. So we developed drafting tool, but it can be done. I mean, maybe in the next versions, we will definitely do that. Okay. I, my suggestion to Droz is that he sends you an email and explains to you why, why he needs these kind of files. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you can consider uh, adding this feature to, to a new release. Yes. What else? Then we have Juan Carlos Martinez. Um, he says, apparently this is a large library, but is it possible to add new elements, parts, etc., for piping yes. or stiller? So it's uh, customizable. For stiller, no, but for piping, uh, you can, uh, at many, you can customize all the library according to you. Uh, if, you, uh, for example, this uh, now if you get this plugin, you will all see Nautilus part. But when you uh, uh, buy it, you will have another uh, cluster showing all your dedicated library. You won't see. If you want, you can see all of them. Our uh, library, or you can see only your library. So it's, okay. it's customized, it's fully customizable. Piping. If you create new elements, they are they will yeah. be they will show on the library. Yes, exactly. Perfect, but only for the piping module, not for yes. stiller. For stiller, uh, I don't know what can we do customizable, but mm. if they write their comments, we also think of on that. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Uh, so, a new question by Can Caracas. Uh, can we also add some fittings to the library? For example, can I identify some valves to the library and insert uh, them to my drawing by your, by your piping plugins? Yes, you can. You can uh, insert your uh, fittings, valves, and penetrations, all of them to the library. But, well, if they are simple blocks, they won't be parametric, right? No, for they will be they're, they're just not parametric. Pipes, pipes uh, are parametric. You can define just if uh, created by with your plugin. They are. If they import like a model of a yes. pipe, that is, it will be like a dump object, right? Yes, exactly. <coughs> nice. So it's better to parameterize your elements with uh, with Nautilus piping in case yes. later they need any kind of modification. Mm -hmm. This is also a nice question because actually we think this is interesting not only for the marine and naval architecture world, but for many other industries. So, um, yeah, Juan Carlos Martinez again, he asks if there is any Nautilus module for furniture or interior design, for example, to create interior, exterior doors, windows, for example. No, not, but uh, Nautilus drafting can be also used for interior structure and everything uh, drafting, but we don't have any special special uh, plugin for interior for now. For that, Juan Carlos, I suggest you to give a try to Visual Arc because Visual Arc has uh, uh, architectural elements that are parametric, such as windows, doors, mm -hmm. slabs, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. So you might want to try, yeah, and the, it should be compatible with Nautilus piping. Oh, in yeah. case you are talking, Juan Carlos, about uh, interior design for, for yaks or ships. Yes, true. We, we can think about <laughs> it. Yes, it's a good comment. One more by James de Villiers. In Stiller, if you modify a created frame and then update the stiffener profile, will it still update the cutouts? 
Uh, no, the, the stiff nerves are not connected to the structure. I mean, if you move this structure, uh, the stiff nerve won't move, <coughs> be defined. So they are not associated. No, the pipes, uh, the, the stiff nerves, pipes, and yes. the stiff nerves and the cutouts are uh, connected to each other. If when you uh, change the stiff nerve, the cutouts change, but they are not connected to the uh, surface, which is bound. Okay. okay, understood. One more question: Can I connect Nautilus piping with galley or sanitary equipments? Uh, you you can. Uh, when you draw a sink or a sanitary equipment, you can connect, yeah, you can continue from there. Yeah, that's what, what I was saying, that mm -hmm. you show examples for piping for for uh, for ships, yes. but I guess you can use it also yes, yes, in, it, 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 in, in regular architecture. Yes. Okay. Um, this one is by Ismail Enes. How can you check the nesting parts between on plate and 3D model? Is there any feature which allows easily? Yes, you can. You can uh, now isolate all the nested parts, but there is a command that you can, uh, when you select the part in 3D, it automatically shows you in the uh, part. Also, you can see uh, when, you, when you click to edit part, here, uh, normally I think I didn't nest, nested it, but when it's nested, I don't <laughs> nest, nest this part, uh, it's uh, which uh, uh, we can see in which plate is cut, you can see from here. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Andre Bauer asks, how about long longitudinal frames? Can they be oriented vertical on the whole plate? Uh, for now, no, but we will edit. These are just, uh, we done it for uh, transversal frames, but mm -hmm. it's, it can easily be adjusted for longitudinal place. I mean, we will, uh, we will extend this type of frames. Okay, mm -hmm. so you continue adding new frames. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> for now, then... these are the most used uh, frames in our project. So, but if, if any suggestion comes, we can think on it also. We can add it to these types. Perfect. Uh, one more question, designed by Ruben Velasco. Is database accessible from other programs in order to create reports? Uh, for now, no. But uh, we can, again, think about it. And yeah, I think you might want to consider uh, well, normally, export uh, to Excel or... Normally, there are, uh, for piping and for this one, there are there is a count... Here, when you get the uh, list, you can copy it uh, and pass it to Excel. To Excel, okay. Yes, copy table here. Uh, ah, okay. Button. You can copy and put export to Excel or any file. Okay, but you do it copy and paste in. Yes. There is no yes. yet a button to automatically export. No. A CSV or something like that, right? No, for now, no, okay. but... Copy-paste. Uh, we, we, we can also... There is a workaround. Yeah. New question uh, by James. Regarding the library in Stiller, how would one go about adding a stiffener profile if not found in the library? Uh, you can, in fact, just uh, edit part and write here. 25, it automatically does it, uh, but we can do a menu to edit also manually. Now, as I said, if it's not here, flat bar is defined, so it automatically reduces the size and makes the cutouts accordingly. <clears throat> Remember, you can always contact uh, Erdem through yes. his website. Mm -hmm. And well, so, same as when you people contact us for tech support or, or if uh, they have any wish, it always helps if you send them an example, an example file. Yeah, it will be perfect. Well, and then I guess he will answer. This is now more for Rhino. 
rather than for you, but uh, we take note. Andre Bauer says that Rhino now really needs to make 2D drawings in layout possible to be exported to AutoCAD. This is a no-go right now. Mm -hmm. Now this confused me because I thought, I mean, of course you can export any 2D drawing from yes, Rhino as DXFDBW, but the layout, um, I'm not sure now, but well, I will. Andre, in this case, if you want to send us an email to tech at macnil.com, mm -hmm. we, can, we can answer to you this question uh, with more detail. Uh, okay, Juan Carlos says he's already working with, with Visual Arc right now. And James is uh, thanking you for answering all the questions and for the presentation. It looks promising. We also think the same. Yes. Um, it's a very nice suite of plugins. And yeah. again, um, I guess Naval Architect or Marine Design is your primary market because your company is dedicated to it. But we see a lot of potential in, in more traditional architecture as well, or in drafting. I mean, just in, in mechanical design or product design yeah. or yes, exactly. many we other industries. Yes, exactly. Clip uh, drafting is more general plugins, not for nautical link fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Andre, well, is he's actually asking Juan if with Visual Art you can export 2D drawings from the layout to AutoCAD. This again, uh, I mean, we can, Andre, if you write us, we can put you in contact with the Visual Art team. Mm -hmm. And I know that they also have some um, clipping tools. And from there, the section is created automatically and it's associated. I mean, it's always the views are associated with the sections in 2D and mm -hmm. that's pretty cool uh, features they have. We have uh, some more minutes for any additional questions. Uh, let me check also with my colleagues if they have any. Mm -mm -mm. Right now, not, but for you, Erdem, remember that uh, this webinar is being recorded and you might want to add it also to your website and to your Food for Rhino yeah. page, the link to the YouTube, because then people can, yeah, we will, will have a live presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if maybe you can explain us a little what's your roadmap. I mean, you started selling, you have been, you have created these plugins for your own use, right? Yes, As a exactly. company. Now you've started recently to sell them. Yes, exactly. We have done so. Through, done through Kuluka well. with Mustafa. Yes, for and Mustafa, we, uh, Yeah, one more question. Can you add plug weld openings in the plate automatically? Uh, the joint, uh, you mean? Uh, no, I not for plug, now. But... Plug weld openings. If you can add this to the plate automatically. Uh, no, it's not for now, but we can also <laughs> think about it. Okay. Again, a new thing for, for the, your wish list. And, yeah. and <laughs> no one asked it, but I'm going to ask that. Uh, is there any kind of uh, connection with Grasshopper? Are there any Grasshopper components planned? For now, no. <laughs> Just we made them uh, in this way because, in fact, we were using Grasshopper, but uh, since our models are very large and it's uh, it was a bit slow, then we switch on plugin side. Okay, no, because I can imagine people wanting to use your plugins with Grasshopper. Yeah, maybe we, <laughs> it can be another step. We can think about it. One more question by Ruben Velasco. As you know, the weight in a ship is quite important. Um, is there a report where you can see COG? Yes, we uh, from here, we can see the uh, LCG, center of longitudinal center, center of gravity, transversal and uh, <laughs> vertical uh, center of gravity. We can see, we can track it. Perfect, because there are a few hydrostatics and area and volume yeah. tools in Rhino, but you have yes. expanded this, right? Yes, 
it's also very important for us. Very nice. And where do you have currently more customers in, in the world? In which area of the world? In Europe, Asia, US, uh, in South fact, Korea? We, we started newly and there are many interests to our plugins. Uh, now we have a customer in uh, Greece mm -hmm. and we are, we are giving many trials and we will see. I mean, it, it has been only nearly one month or two months, Mustafa. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, we, are at, we are at the beginning time. It's, uh, I think it's around one month already. Yes. Okay. But there is really <laughs> interest from all over the world. I mean. Perfect. Yeah, I think there are some other plugins for the for marine design, but it's in another area like yeah. the Orca suite that you probably also know about. <laughs> Maybe also it is it is. Uh, once more, it is uh, good to point out that the plugins are in a promotional uh, state. Like mm -hmm. there will be a, there will be a promotional uh, promotion time until the tenth of July. So okay. uh, if 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 anyone uh, is interested, uh, I'm going to. They have to. I'm as adding this to the chat. They need to visit your website kuluka.io. Yes, and they can find the the promotion there, right? And all the pricing. Yes, yes. On Food for Rhino, you can download the evaluation version, but if you want to buy the product, which we we hope you do it after the evaluation, you need to visit kuluka.io. Yes, you need to get contact with. <laughs> and the last question: Is it possible to have a material list in the program? Material list? Yes. Uh, yes. We can we can get I mean, we can for the uh, piping we can get the stiffener list and all the material weight list and for piping again uh, I show piping here it's the live material list as I understand correctly we can get them we can put it to document or. Rhino, or we can copy and again uh, pass to uh, sell. Yes. Great. Very nice. So, again, many thanks, Mustafa and Erdem. I think this was a great webinar. There were uh, many questions. Yeah, we were thank, we thank you about organizing yeah, thank you. this webinar. It was very useful for us for getting the feedbacks also. Mm -hmm. Yes. And maybe we can organize another one in a few months where yeah, you can maybe focus time. on more a project or or show us any new features. Yes, exactly. Or depending on the questions you get during the next weeks by all the people that are right now giving it a try, uh, do something more focused. Yes, it would be great I mean, for us. Perfect. Okay. So then have a nice evening. You too. And you too. Thank you. Thanks also Thank to you. all the viewers. And remember, you can also contact us at foodforrhino at .macnil .com and also tell us if there, you have any preferences for, for future uh, webinars. Yes. Okay, have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Have a nice, or nice Thank morning you. in some areas of the world and stay healthy. Bye bye. Okay, bye. 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 bye.